Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft Play. Now, after I recorded the last episode, which was 24, I believe, um, I had I had died at the hands of several blaze creatures, and um, I thought, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go get over to where that. That where the perishing happened and recover my equipment and uh, then I'll just save it there so I can pick up from there so I did that I tried to do that and um, what happened was that I ran into I don't know how many like six magma cubes on the way over there and basically ended up getting massacred by those guys and uh, so then I thought okay well this is kind of dumb so I'm just gonna go I'll get I'll take some gear with me and I will go grab my other gear and and uh, you know that's what I'll do and uh, that didn't go very well I got all the way over there without any real incident no magma cubes nothing of, of significance I think I had to dodge a ghast fireball or two and then I, I climb all the way up the ladder to the fortress there, and I'm jumped on by two wither skeletons, if that's the right name for them, and they immediately kill me. <laughs> so, so here I am, getting kind of uh, angry, actually, frustrated and angry. So I was like, okay, this is, this is nonsense. I am going to get that equipment. So... I, I did the same thing basically. I, I geared up with some, uh, made some new armor since I was out and um, went over there with enough resources and, and equipment that I could at least defend myself and I was very cautious. And I went and I got all my equipment back and the wither, the, uh, not the wither, the nether wart which I had luckily managed to find in the chest. If you watched the last episode, you'll know what I'm referring to. And uh, then I thought, okay, look, I'm not going to just sit around here and... Well, I, get, I could have saved the game at that point and just picked it up there, but I thought, okay, I'm, I, what I decided to do was bring all of that stuff back to my base so that at least I had it. So here we are. I've got the blaze rods, the... Um, the magma cream, I guess, certain some coal that I picked up from fighting the wither skeletons, and um, whatever else I picked up over there in the in the nether and in the fortress, uh, it all came back here with me, and um, here we are. The only other thing I did actually was I set up a little growing area for the. Oh, and then I didn't plant it. Anyhow, so I, I, I dug this little area out here and put down soul sand. See the kind of creepy howling faces of the, the souls, I guess. Sort of. Um, and uh, in order to plant that nether wart, in order to grow that as a little crop. Now you can actually do that outdoors as well. Uh, where did I stash that? Um, however, yeah, okay, the reason I didn't plant it is because I was planning to do that while recording. Um, however, I didn't really want to run the risk of, say, uh, a, um, oh my gosh, my poor brain. Just got home from work a little while ago. Um, a creeper, you know, coming by and exploding the whole, the whole patch and therefore negating all of that. So, what to do now is the question. Um, I could start seeking out a, a stronghold. Oh really? No vines. Hmm. However, I don't have very good equipment. I'm just sort of setting up this tree to, or stem, I guess. 
guess they called them, to uh, grow a bunch of uh, these vines for me. I don't know that I have a need for a whole bunch, but might as well get set up to grow them. Oh, there's one up there that's ready to grow, but it's being blocked. Maybe I'll just open that up. I hadn't, I hadn't noticed that before. And of course it's night time, so our gum coming night anyway. I think it was right, yep, right there, okay. Just open that up, and uh, so that one can grow. We shall retreat to the nicely renovated home space here. Maybe I'll put this away. So what to do? What to do? There's resource gathering for sure. There's getting a, a potion industry going, um, which reminds me, what do you need for that? Brewing. Oh, not much stone, cobblestone, and a blaze rod. Alright, so we can get that going. Uh, oh, I need some glass, which I don't think is a problem. And I'm pretty well fixed for food these days. That's good, now that I got all those potatoes. So much food now. I guess I could conceivably stop harvesting. Did I? Uh. Oh, odd. Perfectly divisible by three. I didn't give that any thought. That's okay. Yeah, lots of potatoes, lots, a fair bit of bread, glowberries, etc. One bowl of soup. Oh, you know what I haven't done is picked up any mushrooms, uh, food type mushrooms to make soup with. Oh well, not a big deal. Um, so the question I have here is what to do now? I could and probably should start adding on to the base here. The, the potion, the brewing stand doesn't require any special preparation, um, so I guess, or, or area, but the enchanting there we are, one brewing stand. Workbench. The oh, it's raining again. How oh, nice. So I need blaze powder and bottles, and I think the first oh, it's been a long time since I've done this. I think the first thing you need to do, I guess I could look this up, is brew nether wart into sort of a base potion, and then you can brew additional you can build on from there, I believe is how it works. So we'll need to wait a little while for the uh, for the wart to grow up. Those are coming along quite quickly. Oh, just the one, I guess. Anywho, um, I should also probably, I guess there's no rush here, but I should start getting set up with a an enchanting table. So in order to do that, I will need diamonds, I will need obsidian, and I forget what else. Uh, oh, uh, oh, a book. Okay, so I have leather and I have paper, and so let's make a bunch of books. All the books. All right. So, enchanting table. Now, you want to place your enchanting table 
in an area where it can be surrounded by books, bookshelves actually, no more than two blocks away, I think it is, including diagonals, and you want 15 bookshelves around it in order to maximize its um, uh, enchanting potential, I guess is what I'm looking for. So, I am now thinking that I should perhaps, uh, I guess I could put the obsidian away. As well as the paper. Uh, so I have, oh I had some books before apparently. So I have no leather. 30 books, that is enough for 10 bookcases. I believe. Um, so if I wanted to do that, I would need to take some number of logs. 10. I need 30 boards. No. 60 boards, I think. So that would be, what would that be? Times 4, that would be 15. boards and then I can make 10 bookcases. Well, that's a pretty good start. It's not quite there yet, but it's not a bad start. So I think what I'll do is make a platform. I, I had been thinking about doing it kind of elevated over here. Oh, I, could put the, I could put my sleeping space underneath it. A little more centered probably. Uh, so, I need some, or, uh, oh, I didn't put the obsidian away. I wish to have some slabs, and it might as well be something kind of nice looking, so let's do that. One, uh, I'm not even sure how many I'm going to need here. I want it to be three, three deep and five wide, so that's 15. obsidian away while I'm thinking about it here. So, if I put my platform, one, two, three, four, five, oh, what, how did I, did I not make 16 of those? I do there? One, two, three. Oh, I planted one extra over here. That's what I did. I planted one extra. All right. Um, and then on that subject, I am going to want a staircase sort of arrangement, which I will maybe also make with slabs in order to get up and down. Oh, I need, this is going to be, Should I just run it out? I was going to bend it around here, but you know what? I think I'm just going to run it out into the middle of the room. See how that looks. textures look a little different there. Oh, except if I do it there, I'm not going to be actually be able to get into it unless I put the bookcases. Uh, maybe I'll do it that way, actually. Yeah. I'll put the bookcases here, so they'll end up So 
so there we are. Now, if I were to just say pop a sword in there. So, so anyway, now a person can start enchanting things, which is pretty slick. Unfortunately, the enchantment, enchantments you get are somewhat random, or not somewhat, they are random. Um, I've got ten, I need five more, so I'm going to need to... Ah, do that. I think what I'll do here is reposition my bed and just put it right in the middle. I want to recolor that while I'm at it. What have I got? Blue? Maybe a nice blue bed. Pop that there. And am I going to need light? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that works. Although I might want to give myself a railing. Maybe. Maybe. Give that some thought, I guess. Not too bad, not too bad. I should possibly... Um, take care of my little campfire... Or, sorry, chimney... Chimney enhancement... Uh, maybe I shouldn't, actually. I was, I was going to extend that. And I was thinking I might do it with copper, just to be funky copper blocks. I guess I could let them weather in place. Anyhow, I think it's night time, yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll make my copper copper enhancements to my chimney, but just let them weather in place instead of out on the sand. Uh, so I'm going to want these kind of cobbles, and I'm going to want another campfire. You'll see why in a moment. And I'm going to want those oxidized copper blocks, as well as the ones I have laying around out here. I will want, what will I want? Eight of them, I guess, so I need five more. Well, this one weathered in a hurry. Oh, I wonder, that must have to do with uh, the humidity of the biome, maybe? Three, four, five. That's interesting. I'll just take them all, I guess. Weathered, oxidized, interesting. Does each state have a different name, I guess? So, I will just uh, build some get myself up to the roof level on some dirt, and then, oh, I still need to be higher. Come over here, and what I'm going to do is uh, block off my chimney. What, you say? Why would you do that? Well, it's because I'm going to make a little, oh, I should, what I should do, however, is do that on a block of, um, Do that on a block of hay, or a bale of hay, so that the smoke goes even higher. I'm going to build up the chimney just a little bit around it, and um, therefore my my smoke, the smoke from my, or what will look like smoke coming from my cook fire, although it's technically not. Um, will rise way high up in the sky. And that'll be fun. And eventually, I think these other copper blocks will turn green. sort of an interesting looking effect. So if I just leave it like that, that'll go quite high, but I feel like from a proportioning point of view I probably want one more ring of 
of stone, at least. So we'll see how that looks. It's going to be. That's all right. I don't really... The sort of checkerboard look that it has right now is not is maybe not my favorite thing, but it doesn't look terrible. Once it all oxidizes, it'll look, uh, look pretty cool. And so now you have the effect of the smoke going all the way through and quite high into the sky now. So that's pretty slick. And let's see how high up this is now. We are at a height of 82. Smoke is higher than that. And what are we here down at sea level? 60, I want to say 63, 64? 63. So that's 19 blocks high. That, um, what is that even called? Twisted stem, I think? Twisting vines, okay. Freestanding vines that just go straight up. It's quite the structural integrity. I guess that's the other thing that this chimney brings to mind. That's an awful lot of stone to be resting on a wooden structure, but what the heck, engineering isn't necessarily a big part of Minecraft. Structural engineering, I mean. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. All right, so what else to do here? I'm going to need to um, get at least um, oh, maybe I'll plant that outside somewhere. It can be a decorative item. Maybe it will go right For now. Uh, sorry, I was talking about the leather that I'm going to need. Paper is not an issue, but it's the leather for the books and the bookshelves. So I'm going to need 10 more pieces of leather. Now, I don't really have any cattle. Oh, that was, I did not mean to take a screenshot there. <laughs> source, well the other only easy source of leather is the hoglins. Relatively easy. They're a little more dangerous than cows. Cattle. Be, oh, I keep forgetting about that. <sighs> Dropping myself into my own trench. I should really roof that over. stand over the trench. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Those things are tough little beasts. What is that white? Oh. Tusks. You in a hole? What are you doing? pieces of leather, three hoglins, three pieces of leather. That's, uh, that's not bad. Let me cover up this since I keep tossing myself down there. Oh, I don't have any golden armor, do I? Watch out for the 
big ones too. Because they all come after me. section? I did. Oh well. Yeah, you know what? That's actually not what I wanted to do at all. I'm getting myself disoriented here. It was this section that I keep jumping in or falling into by accident and it also um, fits in with the terrain a little better. If I do that. Oh hello Junior. <coughs> oh, that one should run away. I don't really like those little guys, they, they just sort of hit and run. hasn't it? Okay, now I can go run around out there and play with the hoglins without the piglins attacking me. Boy, those endermen put, they just drop things in the weirdest places. Alright, hoglins, where are ya? Where are ya? I also like to locate an area which is just basically not one of the warped biomes where mostly the zombie pigmen spawn. How do I not have any ladders? Oh, did I? How do I not have any ladders? That's weird. That must be from fortress, I guess. I did not pick them up again. Um, anyway, back to what I was talking about. A uh, good source of experience, which I guess without ladders I'm going to have to not dig straight up, which is probably for the best anyway. In the nether. Um, I want to find an area that is basically just an old style netherrack biome where, where really you just need to concern yourself with the zombie pigmen and you can set up a little structure where it's pretty easy to to uh, lure them in and kill them for fun and profit experience and gold basically distracted 
from my uh, Hoglin hunting mission, aren't I? And I, once I, if this, if this turns out to be somewhere that I want to be using, I'll set up some uh, disappointing how high up I'm at 88. I actually don't really know how high the the nether biome goes. If it's as high as the outer world, then we're not really anywhere near the top, but if it is similar to the outer world, then, or sorry, if it's different than the outer world, we might Sword? No, I did not. Hmm. Not exactly the outcome I was dreaming of there. Where did I pick up that vine? Oh, so once you kill a zombie pigman, that aggravates all the other zombies. channeled a little bit. Like, for example, I have the steps here. I should be able to handle them. I don't know how many there are out there. I thought there was just the, the one, which is why I didn't really hesitate to attack. Oh, 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 need my sword. I didn't hesitate to attack that one day. But there was obviously quite a few hanging around. Not sure where they all were.
canyon in the outer world, but in the nether. This is probably where all the zombie big men were hiding. Interesting. Let's look here. Oh, this might work. If I, if I improve this area a little bit, then make it a little easier to navigate. certainly just in the regular old nether biome. What is it called here? Nether Wastes. I guess that's probably the regular name. Oh. oh yeah. Interesting. Well, other than being wide open, this is kind of what I was looking for. Okay, anyway, getting kind of sidetracked here. What I should probably focus on is... Where, oh, God. So, if you dig up gold, you aggravate any piglins in the area, which is what I just did. Did one of them have a bow? Yes, shut up. shoot each other for a bit. That would make me happy. Okay. Gosh, I had visions of death. It's a kind of situation that it's actually shockingly easy to get yourself into in, in the nether. Because I had no idea those piglins were anywhere nearby jumped from down up above somewhere that I, didn't, I hadn't noticed them. Hopefully there weren't any others nearby. Anyway, let's go back to hunting. Hoglins. been times when I was wandering around here where there were just bucket loads of, of um, hoglins around, but I don't see any at the moment. They seem to spawn in groups of two or three. And of course the piglins hunt them as well. Some extent, they don't seem to be very good at it, but but they do. Well, there's a lot of them around. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, there's a skull at least. Mm-hmm. 
Is there not a third one? Maybe it was Junior that I saw. Oh, no, there's one over there. Come on. Come on, you. I'm right here. Some weird behaviors, these hoglins. Like in my previous experience, they're pretty single minded. They basically just chase you. But they don't seem to do that anymore. And I'm not sure why. Yeah, you little yeah, baby jerky pig, you. Okay. And there is one more around here somewhere. Where did it go? process has shut down, I see. So, maybe I'll start that back up again. And, uh, four leather only. Four leather and 42 minutes into the episode. I mean, I know this is a thrill a minute and everything, but... Well, we accomplished a couple of things here. I'm gonna need... What did I say? I think I only need five. Five more books, right? No, five more bookcases. Which is 15 more books, which is 15 leather, so I guess I'm not that close to 15. Whoops, what am I doing? Yeah, I wonder, maybe I should go look for a herd of cattle. Somebody's out there having a grand old time. Making squealing noises. Sounds like fighting hoglins. Is that a junior? Oh, those are big ones. Okay, come on over. What are you waiting for? This is so weird. I don't understand why they're just sitting around. Okay, whatever. I guess I chase you. Don't run into the lava. Oh. 
things keep spawning, which... They're not exactly... Oh, hey, nice piece of leather. Good, very nice. These dolphins keep spawning, which they don't seem to be in a big hurry to do. Um, this is productive. seems to be somewhere that they congregate and so attempting to do some more enderman hunting. I don't think I need any more ender pearls at the moment though. Another junior, great. Does that mean some adults also spawned? Yes. Another group of three, that seems to be typical. Whoop. for me? No, you did not. All right. Well, this has been reasonably productive, actually. Eight. Eight out of 15. And I see another group over there again. Seems to be two sort of main areas they spawn into. for the trench. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, piggy boys? Yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. What is that they say? Suey? Hmm. They disappeared. Oh, no. I thought I heard one. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello, good. How are you noticing Okay, interesting. Ten. Ten. And you took a bit of damage, and my helmet is gone. Uh, I'm going to have to be careful. I think without armor. Like without armor, I would be pretty quickly. Done in by Hoglands. So they seem to come or spawn over there. And all 
also over here. Oh, there's one just popped into existence. Saucy, I'll dig up that piece of gold. Aggravate all the pigments. But not right now, because that would probably be suicidal. I think my iron reserves are actually quite plentiful. Ugh. I'm slouching too much. Slouching too much. Bad, terrible habit. Maybe clear some of this area so that better sight lines. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, since I'm running around here waiting for hoglins to spawn, maybe some hoglins could spawn. That would be nice. We seem to have run out of... Oh, speak of the devil, or is that the baby? No, that's a full-size one. Hey, bro. Pig bro, come here. Pig bro. Okay, cost me, why don't you? Ooh, why, he was almost dead. Interesting. Must have done battle with either myself or the piglins before. I really don't want or need all of this crimson roots. Let's mm -hmm. plant them back. I don't really need the vines either, but. Twelve. So close. So close. What it takes to uh, reach goals in Minecraft is a certain amount of grinding. Especially if you have something specific in mind. There's another one. Yeah, come on. Come on over. so close. Yep. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see ya. Nope, no leather. Darn. Oh, there's a, a shroom light right down. Oh, I see the tree grew from below. Watch, that hoglin's gonna come and toss me into the lava sea. I guess I shouldn't tempt fate like that. <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't have that a bit would that not have been hilarious? I say the words and then it happens. Maybe I should go stash all this leather that I've managed to collect just in case something dumb happens. 
The only problem with these push button doors is that they're kind of hard to activate, especially when you're in a hurry. So much pork now. Uh, we're going to stash the leather is what we're going to do. I guess I'll hang on to all the rest of this. That's all fine. Oh, the uh, bricks are full up. Oh, I've wasted some lava, that's okay. It's not exactly a limited resource here. Here in the nether. Alrighty, let's go up this way. Oh, hello. than I knew to being, well, not really, I guess. It's a long way down there, or a lot of land between me and the, the lava sea there. Well, my shield is holding up pretty good. My sword has seen better days, but it's still got, I think, enough to get the job done. <laughs> creatures, you should get at least one piece of leather. Come on. Hello, Junior. Yes, I just don't like you. You are useless to me. And annoying the way you hit and run. See if I care. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. I'm rapidly running out of armor too. I might have to give this up for now. And we're almost at an hour again. Well, I'll put a I'll put a description that there's a bunch of uh, mm -hmm. hunting at the end of this video, so. Although that being said, people only watch like three minutes of these videos, so, you know, probably no one's ever going to hear these words anyway, which is fine. I'm not that invested in having people watch my stuff. I mean, I there's a small amount of ego involved, don't get me wrong. I would love it if people would watch and enjoy, but it seems to not be the habit anymore. Or if it ever was, maybe it never was. Yeah, come on, guys. Chase me down. That's what I like. That's what I like. At least when I'm down in the trench, they can't damage me and toss me around. Especially when I don't have any armor left. One, one leather. There might be another one. That takes me to 14, does it? I think so. Better, I better get that straight in my head here, too. 14, and I need 15, I believe, is what I decided. So, almost there. So I play, I play Minecraft, actually. The main reason I play it is for enjoyment. I find it quite an... What was that? like something spawned and then vaporized. Um, I play it for enjoyment. That's the main reason I play this game. I've, I've played it, as I've talked about a little bit before, I've been playing this game, oh gosh, 10, 10 or 12 years, I'm going to say. 
off and on. I go through stretches where I play it a lot. And of course I had this brilliant idea to uh, start from scratch and, and uh, play the latest version. See how it goes. And now you're chasing everybody's. Why? I don't know. You're not going to come all the way though. Big bro, what are you doing? You're going to chase me part of the way back to my base, but not all of the way. What is even the matter with you? You call yourself an aggressive wild animal? Take this. Right in the Pardon me. Slight interruption there. Um, I'm optimistic that this will be the last hoglin that I need to sort out. And, uh, yeah, I know I said I was wanting to cut down the length of these episodes. <clears throat> and here we are. Are you creeping along? What the hell? These things are so weird. One leather. All right. Well, I think that's it. Mission accomplished. Um, maybe I'll plant that there. So, that's all done cooking. <clears throat> uh, my armor is basically gone. So, that's not ideal, I guess. But anyway, that's the way she goes. Uh, leather. boots. Maybe I'll melt down that chest plate so that I can at least get a little bit of <clears throat> a teeny little amount of iron out of it. What am I doing? Wrong way. Also, I need a bucket. I need my lava bucket. My faithful lava bucket. And I'm going the wrong way again. I really should make a a connector from the bottom here to where the gate is. Alrighty, let us grab some lava. Have we run out of lava, have we? Yes, we have. Okay. There's got to be some down here somewhere. No. Wow. Oh, of course, if I was on my bucket, that would probably help. Ugh. You're all sitting there going, all thousand of, of my viewers, ten thousand, million, all million of my viewers are. Oh, good. You, oh, Jesus, what are you doing down here? And I just dropped the lava bucket. And it's going to come all the way down here, isn't it? Son of a... <sighs> God. <laughs> I'm just the smartest. Just the smartest. I guess, I guess I could have said, oh, I'm just going to stop this, uh, this uh, hoglin from chasing me. I probably everyone would have bought that, eh? Ugh, what a dummy. It's going to be like the longest episode ever. Oh, here's my... Or is this the lava level? Oh, it is. Okay, well, at least I, I seem to have succeeded in not dumping lava on my head, so that's positive. Can I reach the... No, I cannot. I was planning to come at it from the other direction there. Somehow I've gotten... Somehow I got myself turned around a little bit or something. Anyway, I'll just... Uh, approach it from here. And probably I can reach it from here. No? No. Oh, if I was on the lava bucket once again. So where was my good man, the pigman, that decided to come have a party down here? Where 
are you, bro? Did you despawn? Where are you down here? We're up here. We've occasionally seen monsters climb ladders and things, but not too often. Okay, resume the. Oh, let me melt my iron. I was gonna. Melt that and what else am I going to do here? One iron nugget for, an, <laughs> for a battered chest plate. I'll give you the princely sum of one iron nugget. There's something about the balance there that doesn't quite work out, but anyway. <clears throat> Anywho, back to the overworld. And since this is already an overlong episode, I'm going to continue with the overlongness of it and uh, just finish off my enchanting. some paper which is here and I don't want to think too hard about how much of each of these things I'm going to need however maybe for the boards um, so five books is or not five books five bookcases let me make the books first book 15 books rather Five bookcases is going to take 30 boards. So 32 is as close as I can come to that. And that, and boom, five bookcases. Bookshelves, rather. And we can put some wood away, and the crimson stem, and the... Oh, I guess I have a... There's an odd number of... Is it nighttime again? Uh, what am I doing here? Just putting stuff away. Paper. And the tools. sword, which I should probably melt those down. I need to make more armor. And I'm going to now place my final book shelves, which should enable a fully powered up enchanting table. only two and a half blocks high. Alrighty, well that looks kind of snazzy, in a way. <clears throat> I should have taken a screenshot of the, the hoglin hunting since that was my main, my main activity here this, this episode. Alright, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. So, Thanks very much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.